Well, today I've got a great lesson for you on Evergreen by Richie Mitch and the Coal Miners. Now, this is a really easy song to learn, actually. Now, there's only two strumming patterns and four chords to learn for this song. And it's a lot of fun to play and it's really easy to learn, so it's worth your time here. So if you take your capo off, we're in standard tuning, so we've got E, A, D, G, B, E. So it's in standard tuning, so if you don't have a tuner, you should check out the description below for a link there. And we'll actually use a capo, so you can check out a capo link if you need as well. Put it on the third fret, right up near the fret, and then I can teach you the chords. So we're going to begin with an F major, except we're not going to use a bar chord here, which actually makes your life a little bit easier. So we've got from the fifth to the first string, it's going to be ring finger on the third fret of the fifth string. Now that's relative to the capo on the third fret, of course. So it's actually on the sixth fret we're putting our ring finger. Pinky on the third fret of the um, fourth string. Middle finger on the second fret of the third string. Index finger, if you can, try and bar the first and second strings on the first fret. So if you want to pluck out those strings, it should sound like this. So that's our F major, so just make sure you've got those all ringing out. And then we're going to learn an A minor. So that's going to be open fifth. And just a quick note as well, when you're playing this F major, you don't want the sixth string to ring out there. You don't want to hear that sixth string. So if you mute that with your thumb, you can bring it around up there. And then you don't need to worry as much about hitting that E string. So it's the same for the A minor. You can keep your thumb there and it's going to be open fifth. 2nd fret of the 4th and 3rd strings and then 1st fret of the 2nd string and then open 1st so make sure they're all ringing out that's our A minor so just make sure you can hear all of those notes so so far F major not playing the 6th string remember and then our A minor and then we've got a C major, but it's actually a bit of a variant. So I'll show you the original C major first. So we're going to play the third fret of the fifth string, second fret of the fourth, open third, first fret of the second string, and then open first string. So that's our original C major, but we're actually gonna play a C over G. So what you'll need to do there is just move your ring finger onto the third fret of the sixth string rather than the fifth string, and then your pinky replaces where your ring finger was before. So now that's on the third fret of the fifth string. So now your C over G, so it's a C major with the G root note. So it's a really beautiful chord for you to learn and it's a nice variation on a C major as well. So we've got our F major, A minor, C over G, and you'll notice that that C over G is a very similar shape to your F major. You're just moving these three fingers down one string, kind of as a block together. So F major, and then C major. So we've got our F major, and then the last chord is gonna be just sliding that up two frets. So F major here, and then up two frets to a G major. So F major, and then G major. So those are the four chords. We've got our F major, A minor, C over G, and then our G major. Just like that. So let's get into the song. It's not actually the most complex song to learn. It's pretty similar throughout, but I'm really looking forward to teaching you this one. So we're gonna start on our F major, and we're gonna be strumming just down strums for the start. So what you'll end up hearing is this. So you hear there that it's not letting them ring out. We're actually muting. So muting here, what I'm doing here is just placing my palm on the bridge or just in front of the bridge there on the strings. So then as I strum, you don't get the notes ringing out as much. So that's how we're gonna play the intro. And our strumming pattern for the intro will be down, 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 up. 
So slowly there, down, 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 up. And a bit faster, down, 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 down. Now, the extra thing that we need to add there, if you can, is adding some accents. So if we play that just without any chord, just put your fingers over your strings, down, 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 up. So that's on one, one, two, three, and then on four, four, five, six, and then seven, eight. And then, so that'll be one, that's an accent, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're accenting on the first, fourth, and seventh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So then that makes for a really nice rhythm there. So we'll try that on our F major and I just won't mute it this time so that we can learn those accents. And again. So that's our accents, that's our strumming pattern for the intro, but remember we are muting with our palm. So, so just one bar of that F major, and then we're going to go on to our A minor. So still muting there. And then onto a C over G like we learnt before. So let's play that slowly together. One, two, three, four. And one more time, a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. So then we're going to actually end up playing that through two times for the intro. So it will be... And we're actually going to play that through two times for the intro. So it will be... That's first time. And then we're going to play it two more times, but with a new strumming pattern, and we're not going to be muting. So our new strumming pattern is going to be down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So again, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So a bit faster. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So with those same chords, let's try that slowly. One. Two, three, four. And you'll notice there that I can still get those accents in on the first, fourth, and seventh beat there. So one, two, three, four. And again with the accents. And then the same on the A minor and the C over G. So let's play that together a little bit faster now. One, two, three, four. So let's play that together now a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. just like that. And that will take us straight into the verse. So, so far we've got our muted one. We'll play that through twice, so two whole chord progressions. And then the same chords, but with a new strumming pattern. So that, so sorry, for the palm intro it'll be. And then two more times with the. 
and that will take us into the verse. And in the verse we're going to begin on our F major again with that same strumming pattern. Except this time we're going to stay on our F major. And then for our last down, down, up, we're going to slide up to our G. So it will be... So it's a quick slide up, but all you're really doing is sliding up two frets. You don't need to move your fingers any to any other frets or strings. So it's pretty easy. So, so let's try that again. So on that second time with the F, you're going down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So on that last down, down, up, you're going up to the G. So, so far in the chorus, we've got And then we're going to go to an A minor and just stay on that. So that's our first part of the chorus and then we'll go back to our F and stay on that for two bars. And then on to a C over G. That's two bars on the C as well. So let me show you the whole chorus now. I'll play it slowly first and then I'll play it one more time a bit faster. And that will lead us straight into the outro. We're going to play the same, that F to the C. So I'll show you that. C. And again, F. And then you're going to end on one single C over G. So one single strum at the end. So that outro will be and again just like that so that's the original version at least the one that goes for just under 1 minute 30 and it's only got those four chords as well. So, and if you've enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to show your support by subscribing to the channel and clicking that notification bell so that you can see any new tutorials on great beginner songs for you to learn. But otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.